Hey guys, welcome to MB Tech Talker. My name's Matt. In this video, I want to walk you through the steps of how I create a virtual panorama log collector. So at the heart of my EVNG lab, I have two virtual panorama appliances deployed using a KVM image. I'm using the default panorama mode, which operates as a management server with local log collection capabilities and uses a single virtual logging disk. In my previous two videos, I showed you how I deployed a Panorama KVM image to use with EVNG and how I configured a baseline configuration, including high availability. If you haven't seen those videos yet, please check them out. I'll leave a card above and all the details can be found in the description below. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and don't forget that bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Okay, so let's kick off this really quick lab. So the first thing we need to do is click on the panorama tab and then we go over to manage collectors. As you can see, we've got no collectors configured right now. So we're just going to click the add button and we're going to copy and paste the serial number of this panorama into this box. And then as you can see, the rest of the options have disappeared and we're going to click OK. And then we need to commit this to panorama first. Once this is pushed, then we will be able to select the disks that have been allocated to the log collector. Without this first push, the disks will not show up. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so that was completed successfully. So all we need to do now is go back into the log collector that we just created. Now, if you go into the disk tab and then click add, the disk will show up. So we just choose disk A and just click OK. And we've got to push that to Panorama as well. OK, so we can close that box. Now we're going to go into collector groups and we've got to add a new collector group. Just call it collector group one. So essentially this is where you can add multiple collectors. So we've only got one, so we're just going to click add and then we can select the collector and then we can click OK. So now we've done that, we can commit and push. Okay, so with that successfully pushed to the log collector, we should be able to go back to the managed collector and you can see now we have a green icon that indicates the configuration is in sync with the actual log collector. So that is how simple and how easy it is to set up a local log collector within a virtual panorama. So that's it guys, a real quick video. You can find all of this on my website at www.mbtechtalker.com. If you have any questions about this configuration or my lab setup, then drop them in the comments below. As you know, I'm already working on future videos. As always, they will center around Palo Alto Networks technology and a bit of Cisco networking thrown in for good measure, all within EVNG. If there are any specific topics you would like me to cover, then please drop them in the comments too. So that's it. I'm sure you know what to do by now, but if you don't, please hit that subscribe, smash that like button and click that bell notification and I will see you in the next video.